Hey everyone, I want to discuss a piece of news that keeps popping up from time to time. It's I see this article every few weeks on different websites and it says the same thing over and over again. It's not really news. And it's uh, Jack Horner's uh, re uh, theory that he wants to put dinosaurs and classify dinosaurs using ontogeny. And ontogeny basically is uh, the development of an organism throughout its life. What it looked like when it was born and what it looked like when it died and after it died. And he's starting to say we should classify dinosaurs this way and he said you know classic nanotyrannus and t-rex being the same dinosaur stigmolock dracorex and pachycephalosaurus being the same and taurosaurus and triceratops and i believe he's trying to get nidroceratops uh into that ontogeny thing as well now last i researched there's roughly i would say it's safe to say it is about 800 species named right now of dinosaurs uh, that number is probably a little, little bit off but probably around 800 I saw on Wikipedia it's, they say it's a thousand but uh, I don't trust Wikipedia like at all <laughs> um, and most of those dinosaurs are only known from a single bone or just a few bones so it's very very possible that we do have dinosaurs uh, that are already been discovered but we just have a few bones to say it's a different species it's very possible and it's happened before with Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus. They turn out to be the same thing. Uh, Majungatholus and Majungasaurus, they're the same animal. But that was with confusion of the bones, I think. Not taking two different species and saying they're the same thing. They weren't saying Brontosaurus is a young Apatosaurus. No, they were just the same animal. Uh, the dinosaurs that Jack Horner says... Uh, should be the same. You can, when you look at the skulls, you can just clearly tell th they're different animals just by looking at them. Seeing Dracorex and Stegimoloch's skull, you know, they don't look at all the same. And this is not even going into great detail. You don't, not even thinking about the fenestra, the fused bones, the placement of the brain. And when you look at animals today, uh, there are differences in juveniles and adults, of course. They do look different, but you can still tell it's the same animal. Uh, even with people, you can tell baby, a baby to an adult. It's still, it's still a human, but, and they do look different, but they're still people. And uh, animals today that transform like that are, you know, like insects or amphibians that go through the larva stage and uh, then the pupa, then to an adult. You know, very small animals that transformed like that, but not large land-dwelling life forms. And you just might as well say something like, you know, uh, a mastodon is just a young uh, Colombian mammoth, things like that. You know, just take two animals that look the same and just say one's younger than the other and they just somehow transform into something different. Um, but, you know, they are both elephants, yes, they're both prehistoric elephants, but they're different species. Lions and tigers are both giant cats, but they're different species, and you can tell that in the skull as well. Uh, Triceratops and Taurosaurus, yes, they're both ceratopsians, but they're different species. When I was watching Dinosaurs Decoded as well, uh, there's this part where they talk about uh, Stigmola going to Pachycephalosaurus, and they never explain about the bones on pa uh, Stiggy Moloch's head. Uh, they simply say that they shrunk or they got smaller. Th but they just the, the video just said it. It didn't explain how. It didn't say what was able to make it shrink like that back into its head. So it looks like just bumps around a pachycephalosaurus. It just said, oh, it's simply that's just what happened. So our theory is right. Kind of thing like that. I am not a proponent in uh, using ontogeny uh, to classify dinosaurs just for the reasons I explained and I explained it very very uh, simple you know I did a very rudimentary ex explanation of it you can go to so much greater detail you can cat scan the bones the skulls you can talk about uh, the finester and things all like that you can go to so much more detail of what I did um, I do think we should try other ways to classify dinosaurs because it's as I said it's very possible that we have two of the same species it always it happens before it's probably happening right now but uh, the way Jack Horner and all and the others are doing it I don't think uh, that's the way but those are just my thoughts 
uh, feel free to leave a comment what you think, and I will be back with more fun paleo stuff, and have a groovy day.